plaintiff, Isophine Morris, says a few months after she started dating the defendant, they moved in together. Isophine claims the defendant constantly went through her phone and Facebook account to see if she was cheating, but the defendant ended up cheating on her. And then she assaulted Isophine. She's suing her ex for the value of a car. Defendant Keisha Williams says Isophine was still messing around with her ex when they first got together, and her ex constantly harassed them. Keisha admits that she ended up cheating on Isophine, but claims she only scratched her in self-defense. She's countersuing for emotional distress. Start with you. Hi, Yana. I met the defendant, Ms. Williams, around February 2013 through a mutual friend. And, um, I mean, everything started off great. Like, anything I wanted, she did, like, take me, took me, take me anywhere I want to go, uh, fix me food, you know, just did everything for me. Uh, so everything was going so well to, by maybe a month and a half to two months into the relationship, I moved in with her. That's when I found out she was crazy. <laughs> How so? Because she started going through my phone, going through my Facebook, calling my exes. Um, just doing all type of crazy stuff. There's also a magnet on the refrigerator that said, I'm crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's a good sign. <laughs> yep, so, uh... Um, How did you respond to all that? She liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh... Um, okay, why were you a nut? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't a nut, just... Oh, well, crazy. She said you were crazy, and you said she liked it. So that means you're confirming I mean, that you're crazy because you say she liked I mean, the craziness. So why call, were you crazy? I wouldn't call myself crazy. I call myself... So that's what she did, and you it said was... she liked it. So what do you want to clarify then? What is it she liked? Nothing. <laughs> well, uh... What is it she liked? Me going through her stuff. Okay. So why were you doing it? Because she was still fooling around with her ex in the beginning of us. Okay, how do you know? Because her ex used to harass us, pull up, we'll be somewhere eating her ex a drive pass, call the phone, and be like, oh, that's what you want? I mean... Really? Are you serious? Ma'am, that didn't happen? It happened one time. Okay, good enough. <laughs> <laughs> now you know why your stuff was being shut. So that still making me crazy. So we... She's the one that said you were, and you're the one but that said she that she, she liked it. You're she... the one acknowledged it. So, yes, are you crazy or not? Until you say no. No. All right, there you go. Now you might not be... So everything was going so well to by maybe a month and a half to two months into the relationship, I moved in with her. That's when I found out she was crazy. <laughs> How so? Because she started going through my phone, going through my Facebook, calling my exes. Plaintiff Isophine Morris dated the defendant, and Isophine claimed she had the defendant arrested after she assaulted her. I don't know who to believe. You got a coin? We'll see who's, we'll see, since <laughs> you want to put this in play. Who has the coin? We'll flip a coin and see whether you're crazy or not. You have a coin to flip? You're really looking for a coin? Yeah, I am, I am. <laughs> you want to talk crazy to me, so I'm really thinking you're crazy, too. You come to the judge talking crazy, <laughs> I'm getting the benefit of a coin toss. <laughs> Somebody pull a coin now. You got one over there? I'm asking Dave. Oh, you all scared. Dave. I guess y'all said, I ain't messing with this woman. You her, she's crazy. We ain't giving him my coin. Go ahead, what else, ma'am? All right, so... Um, she check your stuff because I, you're always in trouble. Right, she go through my phone, go through my Heads Facebook. Heads or tails? <laughs> Heads or tails? Heads. What does that say? Heads. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, so, um, comes to find out all the time she was going through my phone seeing if I was cheating, she was the one How cheating. How did you find that out? Because I went through her phone and through her Facebook. <laughs> How old are you all? I'm 39. Wow. Still going through these kitty games. Go ahead. She'll make you. Go ahead. Um, it, well, after I found out that she was cheating, we ended up arguing a lot about the situation until it got physical on her end. Well, I had to call the cops on her and she was Ooh. locked up when for was three this? days. What month? <laughs> uh, this was like in June. Of what year? 2015. What happened? She basically went for my throat and scratched my face. So when the police came, 
I call the police. She go tell the police I called you. They locked up. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. And how did that turn out, the case? I dropped it because she got a son. I didn't want, right. you know... You give me some background, ma'am, then we'll get to the car you're suing about. Okay, well, it's true. We met through a mutual... Well, a mutual friend hooked us up um, in 2013, probably, like, the end of February, beginning of March. Um, I did cheat, but it's due to the nagging, the... the exes, the... If she says she want me to look left, I look right, mm -hmm. I'm, that's a problem. Or that know? made you desire another person? I mean, it's just like, who wants to be... You're supposed to enjoy your relationship. I don't know. Okay? You don't want to be, like, nobody hovering mm -hmm. over you every time. When you move, she moves. And so you were looking to have another relationship that was more pleasant? That was more free. Oh, so why didn't you free yourself? I did. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I did Thank free you. Immediately? I mean... Immediately? No. And why did you wait? I don't know. Uh -huh. You should think about it, because that's why you're being sued, and that's why you were jailed, because you waited. <laughs> that's why the police came for you. I was jailed for, for defending myself. Yeah, you went to jail for fighting. She didn't go, but you did. Because she had a scratch. Right. So that's why you went. <laughs> you still don't understand, do you? That's you're not what I that bright, are you? That's what I had to deal with. No, she gonna play games with me. We gonna see who... I don't want to We play. gonna see who gonna make the other look worse. Go oh, ahead. What I'm else you want to say? I'll be quiet. Nothing. I think you should. All <laughs> <laughs> oh, this yeah, talk slick to me, wrong person. You've been to court before, or you've been in jail, number one. <laughs> let alone court, you've been in jail. Did you like it there or something? Uh uh. All right, because you're about to go back talking to me like this. Well, go I'll ahead. I apologize, you. Yeah, right? Thank you. What car are you suing her for? Um, I had a 2002 Cadillac DeVille. Um, one day she called me and said that she needed to make some errands. You know, a couple of runs or whatever here and there. Okay, being still cool with her is cool. Okay, I'll be over there in a little while. Let her use my car. I was going past, hours and hours and hours. I'm like, what? You know, she not answered the phone. She walks in the door with no keys. She knocked on the door, no keys, no nothing. I said, where my car at? I had an accident. You had an accident? What? How? So, finally, when I go to see my car in the junk, in the, the uh, pound, the car's totaled out. Nothing. After I found out that she was cheating, we ended up arguing a lot about the situation until it got physical on her end. Well, I had to call the cops on her. She was... Ooh. She basically went for my throat and scratched my face. Plaintiff Isophine Morris dated the defendant, and Isophine claimed she had the defendant arrested after she assaulted her. Did she agree to repay for the debt? Yes. All right. Whatever I got a promissory note. Because I don't get her out of here. Her whole disposition is disrespectful and picture. contemptuous and for a courtroom. All this and looking at me like that, I don't know where I you don't... think you're at, but I'm throwing you out of here. You signed something agreeing to pay. Judgment for the plaintiff, all that, get out. Have a good day. Your claim is dismissed. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. I just hope, wish her good luck and, you know, whoever she get with next, because... I'm glad it's over with and I don't got to deal with her no more. That's all I got to say. <laughs>